Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided to go ahead and go very, very blue, as you can see. Bright, bold, blue cut crease eye look. So if you'd like to see, let's just go ahead and jump right in. <laughs> so this is what we're working with this morning, okay? Totally clean and bare face. I'm starting out with this Kate Somerville Bio Mimicking Peptide Serum. This is what it looks like. And this is my first time trying this serum out. Just wanted to kind of see how it felt on my skin and how it would affect my skin underneath my makeup. So I'm just going in gently tapping that so that it can soak in and absorb. For my moisturizer, I'm using my e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. I love this face cream, you guys. It is so nice. Nice and thick, very hydrating, soaks in very quickly. Leaves your skin looking very, very luminous. Okay, for my eyebrows, you guys already know, using my LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil in the color black is brown. Just drawing on my eyebrows and <laughs> cleaning them up with my Wet n Wild Concealer, okay? You guys, if I could get my eyebrows permanently put on so I didn't have to do them, I would do that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something I don't enjoy doing. Okay, so to prime my lids today, I'm trying out this Profusion No Budge Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I was a little concerned because I thought it might be a little bit too wet, but it dries down pretty nice, actually. Gave me a nice base. So these are the palettes for today, you guys. The Blue Moon palette from ColourPop, as well as the Wet palette from the Bretman Rock Collection. This is the Wet palette from the Bretman Rock Collection. Pretty nice. Very, very pretty blue shades. This is what the Blue Moon palette looks like absolutely gorgeous you guys of course only thing you can get out of these palettes is a blue look so I figured I'd go ahead and combine both palettes together so I wasn't doing two blue looks you know back to back I'm also trying out a new brush set that I picked up from Amazon this is a very nice brush set you guys it's a 27 piece from DU care and they sell a lot of different brush sets. So I wanted to try out a new one today. Now I'm starting out with the Blue Moon palette, going into the shade Fine China, okay? Anybody else like that song from Chris Brown? That, that song was bumping back in the day. <laughs> but yeah, this is Fine China. I'm just taking one of the smaller fluffy brushes from the set, tapping that in my crease, building that shade up until it gets to my desired pigment but this shadow is very very pigmented you guys as you can see beautiful and it looks just like the color that is in the palette next i'm going into starry eyed it's like a very light sky blue type of color just using that to blend out the edge of that darker blue and i'm going in with another small fluffy brush from the set and it blended out that edge actually very nicely and i really like the way that those two colors look together very pretty now i'm jumping into the wet palette and i'm taking this it's the skin tone shade for me it's called is it iwa beach <laughs> and i'm just using that to blend out the upper portion of my lid so it's not such a harsh transition now to cut my crease as usual, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, drawing my line like eyeliner, looking up just to create the line where I need to cut it. And I'm actually doing a winged out look today. As you guys saw in the beginning, this is definitely a winged out eye look. So just placing that cut crease canvas down, tapping off any excess and using a wet wipe to clean up that line. Now to start out my cut crease, I'm going back into the Blue Moon palette using the shade Tide Peel. Very, very pretty blue. I mean, the blues in these palettes are so, so gorgeous. And I'm just tapping that on the inner portion of my cut crease. Next, I'm going back into the Wet palette and I'm taking this, it's kind of like a turquoise blue 
and it's called LOL I'm crying <laughs> really and I'm just placing that right next to that first blue shimmer uh, it's not I don't know it's turquoise but it's not as turquoise as I thought it would be now I'm going back into the blue moon palette taking the shade mad about you it's just kind of like a very slight satin darker blue shade it doesn't really have a super pop of shimmer, but it is a pretty shadow nonetheless. Now I wanted to add a little bit more brightness, so I'm going into the shade Lumi. It's kind of like a duochrome, and I'm just tapping that on top. Now I wanted to add a little bit of contrast for this super blue eye look, so I decided to use my white eyeliner. This is one of my Handayan eyeliners. You guys know I got these from AliExpress, so I'm using them. Um, they're okay they're not the best but they work and I'm just placing that down I'm also going in with a black liner and using that right next to my lash line so when I put on my lashes it won't look so crazy moving on to the face I am trying out this Tarte base tape primer for the first time it's a hydrating primer and you guys I was so surprised when I used this primer it is so freaking nice it is really really nice if you like a hydrating primer i think you will really like this it feels amazing it's not sticky and it just left my skin like so luminous now for my dark circles you guys know i have been using this nyx hd concealer it's like i'm addicted now i cannot <laughs> stop using it to cover up my dark circles so here we are for foundation i'm going in with my urban decay stay naked stay naked this is the weightless liquid foundation and you know i don't remember this foundation being as luminous okay I mean, it says it has a natural finish, 24 hour wear, but when I used it before, I don't remember it being so luminous. So I'm thinking maybe it has to do with the primer, making it even more hydrating than before. I don't know, you guys. So for my brightening concealer, I'm using my NYX. This is the Born to Glow. And I'm just placing that in all my highlighting areas as usual. Um, I like this concealer, but it's not my favorite. I'll just put it like that. It's a decent concealer, but you guys know I like maximum coverage. And this concealer has decent coverage, but not enough for me. Not after using like the Juvia's Place or the Cover Girl. It's just a decent concealer, but those other concealers definitely give me more coverage. Now to set those highlighted areas in place, I am using my Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Flower Setting Powder. This is a very nice setting powder. Very, very nice. I have no complaints. It's not my favorite because you guys know I love my other setting powder, but this one, it works. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way. This is the multi-use complexion powder. It works amazing to set your face, whether you use it just as a foundation, a powder foundation, or to set your face, it's really, really nice powder. Now I am going into this new Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. I have the shade Dark. I mean, these names are ridiculously long, you guys, <laughs> but this bronzer is nice it is really really nice you guys it's buildable it's not anything too crazy it blends out very easily it's not too harsh and I think the color and the tone of it works out well for me so I'm looking forward to using it more over the next couple of weeks just you know making sure I really like it but first impression I like it a lot I think it looks really nice and it bronzed me up very quickly very easily yeah I like it I'm also trying out this BH Cosmetics chocolate marshmallow truffle palette for the first time and you guys I messed up I'm <laughs> running out of brushes so I had to use the contour brush for this but I went into the highlighting shade first 
instead of the blush shade and I was like wait why am I shining and then I was like oops I dipped into the wrong one first so this is the highlighting shade and it's so pretty it has like a slight hint of color to it but it just gives you a nice soft glow so now I'm going into this pretty blush color tapping that on my cheeks and you know placing it down I did it in the wrong order that I normally do but it still looks very very nice I really like the color of that blush and that highlighter it really does give like a summertime glow I like it a lot so these are the brushes that I've used so far. I like these brushes, you guys. I think it is an excellent deal. They're only like $26.99 for 27 brushes and they are working out pretty, pretty well today. So going back into the palette, I'm going into Clued In. This is the darkest blue matte shade. And I'm taking a flat shader brush and just tapping that on my lower lash line to bring that blue down. And for my eyeliner, you guys know I had to add that pop of color. And <laughs> my whole eye look is color. <laughs> but this is the LA Color or LA Girl Electric um, Eyeshadow Pencil. Now for my inner corner pop, going back into the Bretman Wet Palette. That is the silver shade called Thickums. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so pigmented. Look at that. So, so pigmented. Very, very pretty. Perfect inner corner pop. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm cheesing. Maybe because I love blue so much. Anyways, so to set this in place, I am trying out this NYX Bear With Me Spray. I don't know you guys it felt like I was spraying water on my face I don't know it just doesn't seem like it did anything but I'm gonna keep playing with it so this is the look you guys okay like a little blue eye look hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me to try out all these new products and thank you so much for watching I will see you on the next one toodles